TEDx year ago is an independently organized TED Talk in which speakers talk about issues relating to technology, entertainment, and design with the slogan of ideas worth spreading. The talks are organized around a particular theme and speakers have no notes, they have no podium, they just get up in front of the audience and talk. This year's TEDx year ago theme is What If? What if we challenge norms, expectations, the current state of affairs? This event will take place Saturday at the University of New England in Portland, and we talked with the event director and one of the speakers about what the day will entail and what kind of talks can be expected around this theme of what if. I think it comes down to a common condition that nobody seems satisfied with the way life is today and lots of different reasons for that. So what if we just get into that? What if we get into the issues that are concerning us and we're talking around our dinner tables about? TEDx Deer Ago is, is a place where you've got 12 speakers, you've got some performances going on. Um, people can really come in and have conversations about whatever they want. What can people expect this year? You can expect a wide range of <laughs> talks <laughs> from uh, our relationship with technology as families and our kids, talking about what if we did science differently, talking about masculinity, uh, talking about blockchain. P PTSD and veterans, a whole wide range of things are going to be discussed. You're one of the speakers. How did you get involved in this? Adam invited me. Why do you think he did that? Um, I, I'm not sure. I hosted an event a, a year or so ago um, called, uh, it was the Seeing White podcast, and I was the MC, and I, th I assume that's what. That was the start you. of it. Okay, yeah. 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 <laughs> We've all heard these, of this, these surveys, and I don't know if they're entirely accurate or not, but they say that. People are more afraid of public speaking. Most people are more afraid of public speaking than they are of dying. <laughs> How do you feel about the idea of public speaking? I was a teacher. I love public speaking. <laughs> I, I love getting up in front of a group and talking. I'm not so good in small groups like this, mm -hmm. but if I can be in a big group and just sharing ideas, I'm on it. That's why I would jumped at this. I want to talk about your topic because you're focused on how our skepticism perpetuates racism. Mm -hmm. How did you get to that topic? What was it that made you want to speak on that? It's a topic that I've always thought about. I'm always thinking about how skepticism holds us back and when Adam told me that the theme was on what if and challenging norms, I thought here's a norm that's worth challenging. What have you seen over the years that made you want to discuss this topic? I think people are really afraid of racism and um, and the first response they give to it is to be skeptical and nervous about it. And so I just want to take it down a notch and help people get unstuck around it. When you are looking for speakers and looking for topics, do you say to the to the speaker, here's what I want you to talk about, or do you simply say to yourself, I know someone who's got a great personality and would be a dynamite talker, and I'm going to let him or her say whatever he or she wants. Uh, we do a lot of research around who our potential speakers might be, and then we have an idea of what we think they might talk about, and then I reach out and say, hey, Lily, do you want to give a talk? I want to tell you what we think you might talk about. Can you tell us what the talk is that you'd want to give, and then we see where that lines up. You know, it wasn't all that long ago that no one had ever heard of a TED talk of any kind. They've really become part of the culture now. Why do you think it is that they have caught on and really connected with people? I think it's because it's utilizing storytelling and it's making complex issues and ideas accessible to people and getting people to crave to want to know more about things they didn't know anything about yet. Lilia, aside from your talk, is there anything you're looking forward to, to learning about while you're at the TED Talk? Oh, the range of speakers are amazing. There's an artist who's just so compelling in the way she talks. They're, just, they're such creative ideas, and I've heard people's drafts already, and I can't wait to see the rest of them, where they're at now when they've polished them up. Adam, aside from the actual stories that come out of this, is a lot of it kind of the, the power that comes from these speakers? Yeah, it's both who's on stage and who's in the audience. It's a multi-generational room, people from high school to 80 years old that are sharing passion and curiosity and engagement. It's getting lit by the fires that the speakers are sharing and then the audience catches on fire and shares their own passions too. Again, that event is happening on Saturday. More information on it on our website and we'll be right back.